Okay, hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Nikolai Gaming here back today, finally, after quite a while with Satisfactory. Now, as you probably see, a lot has happened since last time you had an episode. Uh, episode 3 was the last one posted. It's because I've been trying now for the last hour to get Adobe Premiere, Adobe to cooperate with my, uh, my episode 4 and my episode 5. But it just does not want to cooperate. I don't know why... I'm gonna try to move them over to an SSD later and see if that works. If it works, those will be coming out, but for now, it's just not cooperating. So I guess I'll give you guys a little bit of an update, I guess. Um, first of all, I never painted this one. For now, this is pretty green because of what's inside of it. Anywho, up here we have built what's effectively the automated uh, biomass plant, I guess. So this one fills up with bio, um, biofuel, solid biofuel. And then these, uh, from refined the power, automated biomass generators get fed automatically by the conveyors back here, which is then what's providing our entire base with power at the moment. So this I built back in episode 5. Uh, in episode 4, um, if I remember correctly, we got things a little more expanded down here. We got things laid out a little bit better. We got a manufacturer up and running. Uh, that's been creating shit for us, but it's now empty for plates. So I guess here you go, have some plates. Um, yes, I forgot you were making us copper. Which means you need to now go back to making screws. And then we gotta take some rods from here and put some rods into here to make some screws. So, today is a little happy hoop over what we're gonna do. We got daisy chain one. Which we can complete immediately. Uh, which lets us daisy chain machines. We got refined power one, which we also basically can get done with now. Ah. Oh my lord, the bus plates I needed. So yeah, I hope you're all having a great day. I'm having a great day. So this should now in ground and reason allow us to put up wind turbines, which means if I get on top of this mountain, uh, one way or another. Our shot. Now, power, um, that comes over under the fine power. There, and we can take a power line. Two megawatts depending on the wind. It's not the highest up, so it's not gonna produce us the greatest amount of power, but it's gonna produce us some power. The plan is to have a few of these standing on out, making a solar farm-ish. Aha. Uh -huh. Yellow. Oh I'm over here. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Uh, we really gotta get some belts routed from there. Um, so 
I guess the thing I'm really waiting on is just... Plates, really, I guess. There's a refined power. Oh, we got jump pads, daisy chain 2, fluid awesome sink. So pretty much this one is pretty much the only next thing we can do before we get the, the space elevator belt. So I guess that's gonna be the... The goal of this video, I guess. Although I might have to go or create some more copper wire. Yes, indeed I need. So yeah, throughout the day also, my Behringer X32 compact mixer should arrive. So that's gonna be fun. Also, I have kind of a video of me setting up my Samsung SK16 rack, uh, which also are coming up on the IRL channel. I think that's gonna be on the IRL channel. Uh, the Stage K lights and sound channel is probably gonna be more fitting this rack out with stuff. Because this rack is dedicated to audio only, so currently my VU meter, my... Um, um, Behringer, uh, 4800, um, uh, a direct box rack, and my Behringer CX2330 Super X Pro crossover is currently the only thing in this rack, but there's going a power bar in here, four wireless mics, and four, um, four wireless, uh, in-air packs are going in this rack, as well as a Behringer amplifier, uh, which is ordered but I don't know if it's in on the way nope it's ex still just accepted oh so, that's the thing well we got you 300 uh, platos we that should give us 300 platos now 300 platos and then we need a few rotors now this thing has been creating plates for us but we can swap it over to rotors we can pop in some rods we can pop in some screws we can uh, pop in some more screws and this thing will create the rest of that for us. Now, what to do in the meantime? Well, oh, look at that. Then we can do that meanwhile, I guess. Which is creating the uh, zip line. Which requires one scene of sapper and a little more quick wire. So, I guess... Ugh. So I guess create some more quick wire because we literally got a lot of quick um, criterium I mean. I was about to say we have a lot of quick ingot but that ain't exactly correct. And then just create another Xeno Sapper. And that requires a little more wire. A little more wire, a little more cable. Which means boom. We see no sapper. Then. We just need some more wire. Uh, 
There we go. And then I guess I can pop out my chainsaw. And pop in my zip line. Because what we can do then... Is that we can, for example, go over here. I get a good enough run at it. There we go. Take this motherfucker all the way up here. And that means we can also... Make ourselves an easier trip over to the howdy over to the copper plant. I don't think we need any copper anytime soon. Well, then that's made. Um, alien orgasms. And then we absolutely gotta do those before we could unlock these. Well, the criterium sides of things. You got... You need copper sheathing. I don't think we have access to copper sheathing before we had access to coal. Oh, never mind, we do. So, how many sheets do we need? We need 200 quick wire and 50 sheets. <laughs> Which means I guess we need more copper. Which means I guess we're heading to get some copper. Or... Okay, folks, we're back. Um, we're soon about to have enough rotors. Um, also, if you notice that the sound is a little different, it's because it probably is. Uh, I'm now running... Um, you may turn it down a little. I'm running a separate application audio output capture. Uh, which is add-on to Steam, so I can listen to music and still have just the game capture being captured. So that I can listen to my music I want to listen to while playing without having this YouTube going like, Ah, oh, this is copyrighted shit. Fuck you, YouTube. Get your ass out of here. Do -do -do. So there we have that. And now we have the copper we need for our research. There we go. And then we need more caterium, I guess. Oh, hi. Gura. <laughs> Just my alarm. <laughs> I have Gura as my alarm. If you will. Yes, I actually woke up, or I, well, I woke up very early. I woke up at like 2 p.m. And then I was laying in like bed and watching YouTube for a long while. And then I finally w stood up at around like 3, half, 4 a.m. maybe. Um, and well, now she's 11 a.m. There we go, that's our AI limiters. Now what are these motherfuckers again? 10 frames and 100 quick wire. Now the frames shouldn't be too heavy to make. Hmm. 
reinforced plates and iron rods. Now the port here has returned. So, yeah. Loot Awesome Sink is really the only thing left we can do. So I guess we do that one then. Ah. Let me make another power shard. To speed that motherfucker up even more. Okay, well, space elevator. Space elevator, I say. This shit is back. So, well, the only real thing we have is Daisy Chain 2. And wow, super alternate recipes, but that's just to get all the alternate recipes and shit. So I guess this is really the point where the space elevator needs to be built. Which means Copper Heaven is about to commence. Though we should have gotten a more appropriate base filter now. So I'm pretty much gonna halt this one. And I'm gonna let this entire thing just run through its resources and just get done. And then once this shit is done, then we can start tearing apart this entire hook and then... Getting started on putting up um, a little more proper base. And require. Okay, we're back here. A hot minute. I've been running around doing some research, re research, resource work. We're back now. Going to be building the um, speedy boots, as I like to call it. The two hundred quick weapons should be there right now. I'm just trying to get all this iron ore out of the main inventory. I'm going to just melting that out, so that's done. That should be it for the uh, Blade Runners. That will take a half five minutes to do its work. And I'm just manually feeding this motherfucker. Just producing both plates and um, rods. I've started kind of laying out how we can turn this motherfucker. Plan is kind of just going a zigzaggy way up here. And then this entire area, like all the way out in here, is going to be integrated into the factory in some way or another. Well, I guess I could take down these at least. Mam is doing shit. This one is working on our wire we need for our... Uh... Our... Um... Other shit. Okay, put and pop. More copper. I'm gonna take a fair amount of copper to do this. Hey, we got what we need to make the blade runners now. Uh. Three frames.
There we go. So now we can really move around. Okay, we're back here a hot minute. We have almost all the wires we need for the space elevator. We only need a few more rods. That's not a problem. I think we're done here. Yes. We're done with this. Although I'm gonna... Put the equal amounts on each of these. There we go. So now we're just waiting for the last few coppers. These are done, technically speaking. So those can go bye bye. Means this one can also go bye bye. Okay, folks. It's happening. There we go, she's done. So that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Um, so yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, check out my other links down below for my other social medias. Uh, might be interested. Interesting. So yeah, stay tuned. Stay awesome. Nicolai gaming out.